Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing jewelry again. Are y'all tired of jewelry yet? I hope not because I'm not. Um, I know I've talked a little bit on the channel about how I did a jewelry haul at a local garage sale. And so today we're going to go through the jewelry that I picked up. Um, I actually ended up buying a few pieces at um, some different places. And then I stopped, it was kind of toward the end of the garage sale when it was getting ready to stop. I stopped at um, a lady's house and it was a grandma who said she collected different types of jewelry and she was getting ready to shut everything down. And she had this, just this whole tray of jewelry. I started trying to quickly go through it and she offered to sell me the whole thing. So of course I took it. So anyways, I bought this tray from her. She threw a bunch of stuff in this little bag, which was so sweet. Isn't that cute? And then there's all sorts of baggies because, you know, she had them individually bagged for the garage sale. Um, I've been holding on to this, uh, waiting to film for you guys. So today we're going to go through it. Hopefully there's some treasures in here. Who knows what she had? Either way, I'm going to give you guys some great pricing if you're interested in purchasing and see what kind of treasures we found at this yard sale. All right. I'm going to point the camera down and let's see what I got. Okay, so here it is. Here's the whole view of the jewelry tray. She did put a bunch of things in this little pouch here. So we'll start with this and go through it and then we'll get to the tray. I'm gonna try to move pretty quickly through this video. I will give pricing throughout and if I don't know the price on something, I will make sure um, to put it on the screen for you. And if you are interested in purchasing directly, uh, just send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com and um, I can send you a PayPal invoice and ship out. Now, one thing I will mention is that um, I am getting ready to go out of town on vacation, y'all. So if you're not ordering and paying the day of the video, so today on Tuesday, then... Um, I'm not going to be able, I can still invoice you and everything, but I won't be able to ship for like a week and a half. So I do have videos that will be coming out. Oh, look at all this, you guys. There's a lot of jewelry here. OMG. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, but if you do purchase, um, there may be delayed shipping because I'll be out of town. Okay, uh, the, the lady, the grandma, she told me that she collects jewelry and um, she did mention brands like Premier Designs and things like that. So I am expecting to get some of those items here. Y'all, look how pretty these are. Oh, these are awesome. You've got like a little lever back. Um, these are not in super great condition. Um, but I love this design that's on the front. Those are really cool. If anyone's interested in these, let's just do these for a dollar. Um, there's quite a bit of wear to them. I don't know where this came from. So, okay, next up, we've got this pair of clip-ons. Look at these. These are awesome. <clears throat> They're very lightweight. Got a gold tone. They're like plastic. If you can hear that. Um, and then this really pretty red right in the center. And then you've got your clips in the back. We'll just say a dollar if anyone's interested in those. Uh, let's set that to the side. Ooh, look at this one. We've got a stretch bracelet. Um, this one is like a mixed metal. It says thoughtful, caring, kind, love forever. That's so nice. Oh, I like that. Um, does it say, I'm like, does it spell something? I don't really know. <laughs> Not really. Does it say mother? Maybe it's supposed to, is that supposed to be an M? O T H E R. Oh, it's a mother bracelet. Isn't that sweet? Oh, I really like this. This is pretty. Um, if any, oh, there's a sticker on here. Let's see what it says. It does say mom. See, I should have started here with the sticker. And by the way, I'm recording in a new area today. So let me know if you guys like it. I thought it might be better than where I usually do. It says DM merchandising. So not sure, but this is in the stretch is still pretty good on this one. So if anyone's interested in the mother bracelet, let's just say $3 on that. That's really cool. 
Although I, I do get kind of sad when people get rid of their like mom or daughter jewelry because I'm kind of like, someone, someone gave that to you. <laughs> but anyways, it can go on to a new home. Ooh, feels like we might have some little turquoise chip earrings here. Look at these. Nice. I'm going to assume that these are a, whoops, I'm going to assume that these are like a silver tone ear hook. Let's just check. Yes. So silver tone ear wire looks to me like real chips of turquoise. If anyone is interested in these, let's just say $4. I like those. All right, there's lots of these little baggies that she put them in, which was nice. All right, we've got these. Ooh, these are pretty. You've got kind of these domed gold tone earrings with this really intricate flower design, almost like an antiqued look behind them. I don't see any sort of marks on these. So I can put some um, like little silicone backs on these and if you're interested, we'll just say $2. I like those. Okay, we've got some gold tone hoop dangles. These are interesting. Look at these. Oh, I like those. I feel like I might need to bring you guys in a little bit closer. I'm still trying to get used to this setup, but I decided to set it up in my office this time instead of um, in the kitchen where I usually film jewelry because I feel like in the kitchen there's an echo. The dogs are running in and out. They're all excited I'm in the kitchen, and I feel like there's always a little bit of drama. Let me, let me try to move you guys a little bit closer. Although, I don't know if I want y'all super close to my hands. <laughs> okay, hopefully this is okay. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyways, we've got these hoop dangles. And then we've got these little chains here. And then this really cool one down the center. Uh, don't see any sort of marking on the ear wire. But if you're interested in these, we will just say, I don't know, we'll stick with two bucks. They're in good shape. Oh, this one's pretty. This one feels like substantial. We've got another mixed metal, kind of with this braided silver tone. Oh, these are really pretty. And you've got the gold tone through the middle and the little um, rhinestones that go on the outside. I don't see any sort of markings um, on the post but these are in excellent condition. I love that. That gives me a little bit of like Yerman vibe there with the braided metal work. If anyone is interested in these, let's just say $3. I love those. I've got a little Harley Davidson tack pin. It says Cancun, Mexico, a dollar. Okay, we've got another pair of Assuming silver tone. Let's see if we see any marks. Yeah. Silver tone earrings. It's got this really pretty um, kind of filigree cut out in the middle with little, almost like a cross with little hearts in it. I love those. If anyone's interested in these, let's just say $2. Like I said, I'm going to try to move pretty fast because there's, honestly, y'all, there's a lot of jewelry here. Um... So we'll just keep it moving. Uh, we've got a gold tone chain. This one says JK by 31. Bring that close so y'all can see. Um, you've got this really pretty gold tone chain that drops down into this pendant that says wish for you. And it's got like a little dandelion. Um, here's the little JK. And then you've got this heart. This is nice. Um, it probably needs a bit of a wipe down, but if anyone's interested in this, let's just say $3. All right, we've got a pair of two-tone hoops, um, kind of a hammered look on that silver tone, and then this gold tone running through it. Again, I can put some silicone backs on these if y'all want them. They look like they're in really great shape. I don't see, again, any sort of marking on these. But if anyone is interested in these, we will just say um, $2 on those. 
trying to give good prices because I got these for a really good deal. All right, we've got a pair of gold tone and pearl, like a little half pearl post earring. These are marked, they say SC. I don't, what is SC? I don't know what that means. Um, I may Google lens these. I get to look something up. That's exciting. I will have a price on the screen for these. Aren't those cool? I love these. They give me like kind of a Monet vibe or something. Um, they look like overall they're in good shape. Maybe a little scuff here. So I'll have a price on the screen for those. I'll put those to the side so I remember to look them up. Next, we have another pair of... Apparently, this woman really liked mixed metal because she's got a lot of gold tone, silver tone earrings. Look at these. You got the gold tone. You can see me. <laughs> you got the gold tone. And then these silver kind of little stripes throughout. One back is silver. One back is gold. Um, these look like, again, they're in great shape. So we'll just say um, three bucks for these. Okay, we've got another pair of these earrings that we started with, except these are in more of an antiqued brass color. Awesome. Um, if anyone's interested in these, we'll just say $2. Those are very lightweight. We've got another uh, tack pin. This says life. What a wonderful choice. Okay, so we have like a pro-life pin. Um... I don't really know all the things it says on the back, except that there's like a number. It's pretty dirty, actually. And there is kind of like discoloration behind this. So if anyone wants it, it'll just be in craft for a dollar. And I will get rid of that hair. All right, next. I've got another pair of mixed metal. <laughs> These are like converter earrings. So you've got the rhinestone stud okay and then you can take these apart so you could just wear the stud you could wear the stud with this piece or the stud with this piece or you could wear it just like this so that's pretty cool it's like an earring three ways um if anyone is interested in these again i don't see any markings we'll just say um two bucks on those i'm literally just making up prices as we go so all right, next up. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I think these are adorable. Was there supposed to be something here? I feel like something's missing off of this. Um, but you have this really cool um, kind of like art work, if you will, on the silver tone dangle and then like a little faux turquoise or little blue beads there. I feel like something is missing here. So if anyone... And then the ear wire just came off. Okay, these are going to go in craft, which will just be a dollar if you want those. Otherwise, they look like overall they're in good condition. Like I didn't see any scratching or scuffing or anything like that. Next up, we have another pair of dangles. And these have um, little black hearts in the center. These are so sweet. I love these. Again, these are in good condition. So, so far the jewelry has all been in pretty good condition. Um, I don't see any markings on these. We'll just kind of keep it the same and say $2. Those are sweet. Okay, these look like they might have some wear to them. And like, I feel like there's like hair everywhere. <laughs> so, okay. Um, these do have some wear. They do have these inset rhinestones on these hoops. These do have some weight to them. Um, and because of that, we're just going to say a dollar on those. All right, next. I think it's so nice that she like individually packaged all of these. And here I am just taking it all apart. Okay. She was so nice, y'all. All right. We have, um... I don't think these are stone. I think these are plastic. And silver tone shepherd's hook. These don't feel like a stone. So we'll just say a faux stone. Little dangles. If anyone's interested in these, we'll just keep it the same and say two bucks. Those are pretty though. All right, next. 
but I don't know how I feel about these um, staples that are in here. I'm worried I'm going to get a little scratch. Um, we've got like a little mini hoop with these two little dangles here. I think that's really interesting. Um, I don't see any sort of markings on these. Those are nice. Again, everything except for like one or two pairs has been in really good condition. We'll just say $2 on those as well. Let's take a look at this one. We've got um, a pair of silver tone hoops. Um, these have kind of like that look like there's actually three hoops, but it's really just a solid one with a little bit of texture down the middle. There's maybe some slight wear to this, so I'm gonna put these in craft for a dollar. If you uh, do wanna order something, um, please send me a timestamp and a screenshot along with the price, um, because there's a lot of jewelry here. I wanna make sure that if you do want something that I know exactly what it is, <laughs> so that I can invoice you and ship out the correct item. Okay, next we have a pair of almost like a copper tone, like a ball with this little rondelle in between. These are really nice. I think those are really cool. All right, we'll just stick to two bucks. Okay, we've got another mixed metal. Ooh, I like these. And these um, do have some weight to them. I don't see any markings on them, but you've got the gold tone. It's like kind of like a partial hoop, right? And then you've got this metal work here in the silver tone. Those are nice. We'll just stick with what I've been saying and we'll just say $2 on those. Great condition. Um, ooh, what's this? Y'all, looks like we have a set here. That's exciting. Okay, so it looks like we've got the clip-on earrings. Again, these look brand new. Like a lot of this stuff looks like it's never been worn before. Look at these. these give me very like Art Deco vibes. The rhinestones, you've got the black enamel, and then your clip on the back. And then we've got the matching pendant. Gorgeous. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. I don't see any missing. And this one is marked Avon right there. So for the Avon pendant, I'm going to keep these together and earrings set. Um, I'm just going to save $5 for the whole set. If you just want one or the other, just email me and we can work that out. I think that's awesome. The whole set. Y'all, those look brand new to me. Okay, we've got another pair of earrings. I think she maybe did say she also collected Avon. I feel like she said Avon and Premier Designs. So I thought, you know, why not? In the tray itself, um, I started looking through it when she was packing stuff up. And um, I don't know. I thought it looked really interesting. So I was willing to go for it when she offered. Um, we have the, these are little purple ones. Those are sweet. I like those. Um, again, we'll just stick with $2. <clears throat> Looks like a little purple stone, but it does not feel cool to the touch. Now, I did get my Presidium. Thank you guys so much for wishing me well. These are going to go in craft for a dollar. They have like some verdigris on them or something. Um, I did not have time to set it up last night before I recorded this. We are like in a frenzy to try to get ready to go out of town. So it just wasn't going to happen before I left. So I will have to work on it when I get back so that I have it um, for the next jewelry video. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, there's a lot of hair. <laughs> We've got um, some, these are, I like these. These are really cool. Um, you've got some kind of antiqued gold tone little bead tassels. But these are back, so you can stick, I guess, whichever post you wanted through there, and these would hang down the back. I think that's really interesting. Since I don't see the post, let's just say a dollar for these. But they're in great shape. I always think it's fun when there's like a convertible earring. You can do different things with it. 
All right, next. Oh, these are sweet. Ooh, I like these. Um, okay, so we have a little huggy hoop. You've got the rhinestones down the front, and then it's got these two little dangles on it. Again, it can be kind of a converter. Y'all look at that faceted one. Y'all know I have a thing for the faceted beads. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, and then you've got the little silver tone, like little pearl bead. So you could take these off and just wear the huggy hoops. You could leave one on both. So I think that's cool. Again, in excellent condition. Um, again, I am assuming these are just, yeah, like a silver tone. So we'll just, even though these are like, I love these, um, we'll just say $2 on those. Okay, here's another pair of hoops. Um, it looks like they were supposed to be gold tone, but some of the gold tone has come off these hoops. So those will go on craft for a dollar. Next, what are these? Oh, these, um, I guess, are also another converter where you could stick a post through and like convert your earring. So we'll just say a dollar on those little converters, gold tone, kind of a little braided look. All right, what's in this little baggie? Looks like we've got one of the illusion necklaces. Um, what is happening here? Okay, I think it goes like this. I'm gonna have to like clean my little mat after. We've got lots of little hair and glitter and dust. But we've got these textured, um, sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera. We've got these textured squares that are linked together um, and then you've got some that are a, a black a black and silver chain and then you've got this illusion wire there are some kinks in this illusion wire and I feel like this needs a good cleaning there is a hang tag on this one and it does say Chico's so we did get a Chico's which is awesome but look at the wear on this so because of that I'm gonna put this in craft for a dollar I hope one of y'all grabs this and can clean it and repurpose it because I think there's a lot of like cool pieces on that. Okay, so now, oh, and if anyone is interested in this little pouch, it says Tech Gear. Looks like it's in good condition. Looks pretty clean on the inside. Um, we'll just say a dollar on that. I'm gonna show y'all the tray. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab from the tray and pull some pieces out and we'll go through them. Um, so right on the top, there's these three kind of collars. This one immediately I can see has a lot of wear to it. So this, um, this one's gonna go and craft for a dollar. This one that's got the little V down at the bottom to hold your pendant also has some wear craft a dollar. Now this one looks like it's in really good condition. So if you're interested in this one, let's just say two bucks for this. This one's in great shape. So again, if you want one of these, please make sure to give me the timestamp and a screenshot so I know exactly which one of those you want. Those are awesome. All right, so the tray has like little compartments. So I think I'm gonna take from each compartment and we'll just go through each one. So there's the first one. We have a little uh, bead. That's really pretty. I love that. I don't know if that goes to something or not. Maybe we'll find the rest of it. Okay, and then um, that's an earring. Oh, and that's an earring. I guess this is a set. Okay, another set, yay. All right, so we've got this really long gold tone disc necklace. It falls into these faceted beads. Ooh, I like this. Okay, then you've got a black faceted bead. Um, you've got kind of this gold mirrored one. Really pretty. Here's a larger black ball. And then down into some of these other faceted beads. So this is really nice. Um, let's see if we see a maker. Oh, no, it's got a little heart dingle. 
but I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's a maker of some sort. And then you've got the matching earrings. So if anyone is interested in the set with the gold tone disc or I don't know, open hoop <laughs> set, we will just save $5 for this for the whole set. Again, if you want something individually, just send me an email. Okay, that was the next little compartment. So let's move to this one. I'm gonna pull that out so we can see. Ooh, what are these? Oh my gosh, you guys, we have some button covers. Oh, this is cool. How fun is this? Okay, so we have, I think this goes on the collar. Yeah, silver tone. It's got kind of that antique look. Really cool, it is lightweight. I just see one little corner for the collar. And then you've got four of the little button covers. Nice, they're in good shape. If anyone's interested in that, we'll just say two bucks. Looks like we have another set of button covers. These are gold tone. Nice, and they're just little, um, I don't know, little, it looks like little balls, I guess, when you put them on your button. Gold tone, there are six of these, and we'll just stick to the same and say $2 on those. Nice. Yay, that was kind of exciting, something a little bit different. All right, we're going to grab from the next compartment here. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, that one was in there. All right, we've got another little pouch. Okay, we've got another dangle, a couple dangles. These don't feel like sterling to me. I think they're maybe made to look like they are. Um, they're made to look a little like they're aged or etched. Um, but these are in great shape. So we'll just say $2 for those. All right, let's see what's in here. Looks like we have another pair of like lever back type earrings. Silver tone. Oh, these are cool. Look how this folds down. That's nice. And this goes in the back. Well, I pushed that down. Uh-oh. Mm, maybe it'll stay up if you put it in your ear. I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> I don't see any markings on this. Because I'm not really sure about these posts and if they're supposed to stay, like that one stays up. I feel like it would be fine once you put it in your ear, but we'll just say a dollar on these. I think those are cool. Next. <clears throat> oh, got another. Oh, is this another set? We've got a little cross earring right here. Um, maybe we're missing the other cross. Not sure. Um, but we've got this. Oh boy. What are you doing? Okay. We've got this um, cord, corded necklace, and then a mixed metal cross with kind of a gold tone cross. You got a copper looking cross, and then stamped with all these other little silver tone crosses. Really nice, in great shape. It is lightweight. So um, we're just going to say, we'll just say $2 on this, and then I'll just throw in this little earring. If I end up finding the other one as we're opening it, then good for you. You've got an extra special deal. We've got more crosses. Okay, oh, this is, wow, y'all, this is. This is a Texas Statement necklace, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here we go. Um, Y'all, this is awesome. Okay. If nobody is going to wear this, somebody has to craft with this. This is so cool. Okay. You've got five cro major, these are big, let's measure them, crosses hanging on this necklace. Okay. These are like three inch crosses. 
by like a two inch. This one is missing a rhinestone. I cannot even imagine wearing this around my neck, but that is so cool. Um, there is a hang tag on this. Let's see who the maker is. <laughs> there's a hang tag, but I, there, there's no maker on here. I don't know. But um, I really want someone to craft with this. I'm going to do it just for a dollar because of this missing rhinestone. But that is so cool. I don't know. You could get a, I saw a necklace kind of similar to this at my thrift recently. Um, it, it was two strands. One had a ton of crosses on it. And um, then the other strand had some different like, beads and stuff. And there was a la another lady. Oh, we found this one. I'll add that to that set. Um, there was a lady that was standing next to me. We were both looking at it. It was so interesting. And um, she's like, someone should craft with this. And I was like, definitely. You could get so many cool pieces out of that. Oh, cool. We have a zipper necklace. I used to have one of these. Okay, let's see if I can get it untangled. It's gold tone. I'm trying to remember how old I was when I had one of these. This is, would expect to be vintage. Okay. Probably, I don't know, is it older than Y2K? Not sure. Here we go. So it's kind of like a little bolo and you can zip up and zip down depending on the length you want. Now I will say it's loose, so I don't think it's going to stay up, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so sad you're not going to stay up. Um, okay, we'll just do that one for a dollar. Oh, that gave me some memories there the zipper necklace I wonder whatever happened to mine I probably sold it in a garage sale or my mom did I guess okay we've got some other little hoops here these are in kind of a cream color and then they've got this these little marks in them and like a taupe very lightweight I don't see any sort of markings on these so we'll just stick to it and say two bucks at least everything has had a match. Okay, I'm going to pull some more pieces. Ooh. Oh, this looks like a stone. Okay, that's kind of exciting. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We'll start with, we'll start with the stone. I, I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it is cool to the touch. Look at that. This is beautiful. That blue that goes through there. Oh, I like this a lot. Um, so a pendant. Let's see. Um, the For sure the little ball part here is um, silver tone. Not sure about the wire. I'm not going to go through the trouble of testing that part. I absolutely love this. Let's just say three bucks for this. I, don't, I love that. Okay, really nice. All right, we've got a gunmetal. It's got a pave drop. Um, we are tangled. Oh dear, it's, is it a multi <laughs> I feel like the ones that are always multi-layered um, get so tangled. In a gunmetal that drops down. Um, oh, is that Premier Designs? That little crown there? I think so. And um, you've got this little pavade one. And then you've got this one down here. So um, for this one that I think is super sweet because it's still tangled. And I'm not going to take the time to untangle it. I'm just going to do the Premier Designs for a dollar. I hope one of y'all gets that you can untangle it. Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, this, this looks like um, a spoon. Oh, I love this. This looks like a spoon bracelet. Um, I own some spoon jewelry. I have some, let's see if it's marked, it is. Um, my mom bought me some when I was a lot younger. This says silver plate. Look at that design on the inside. I love that, okay. Um, my mom bought me some, so I have a ring and I have a matching bracelet. And then I also got a ring from Marilyn over at Shady NY that is a spoon ring. So, um, 
all of this is, I mean, this is silver plate, as it said. Usually spoon jewelry is not sterling, um, but the clasp is also silver tone. I don't know, you guys. I feel like maybe I need to keep this. I don't know, but then I shouldn't keep, I shouldn't be keeping things, you guys. Anyways, I love that. Um, if anyone's interested in this one, we'll just do $3 for that. That's really cool. I like the way how it's connected right there. All right, next up. This is really pretty. Got like <clears throat> an antiqued brass chain. Although, I mean, the top of this is like a gold tone. So that's kind of interesting. Um, anyways, antiqued brass chain dropping down into these little textured balls. And then you've got the faceted beads. This reminds me of like fall. I love this. And then you've got these green faceted beads and this larger like amber colored dangle. I think that's nice. I don't see any sort of maker on that. But look, you've got that three layers of that. So if anyone's interested in this one, we'll just do this one for $3. That's nice. Okay, let's move on to the next compartment. Ooh, ooh, I see something marked. Ooh, is that more stone? Oh, this is exciting. Ooh, art glass, maybe? I don't know. Yay. Y'all, let's start with this. OMG. Okay, I saw immediately this said 925 right here on the back. That is awesome. And then look at all of these little insets. Maybe some sort of onyx. That looks like it could be like a, a tiger's eye. Oh, this is nice. I love that. So we will test this at the end to make sure it's sterling. But yay, y'all, I think we got some sterling. That's exciting. So we've gotten some natural stone. We've had a couple pieces that have been marked. We've got an Avon, a Chico's, and a Premier Designs. And now sterling. Yay. Okay, next we have a bracelet. It's got a really cool geometric pattern on it. I don't see... Oh, here's a mark down here. Let's see. Oh, and we've got Premier Designs. So we've got a Premier Designs bracelet. I would say this one um, does have some wear to it. So I'm going to put this one in craft. And if anyone wants that, it'll be a dollar. That's nice. All right, on this one, we've got another mixed metal. We've got the gold cuff, gold tone cuff, and the silver tone little accent on the top. And, oh, this one says Trafari. Try and look close, closer at it right there. Nice. Yay, that's exciting. I must let me pull my bracelets down here. We don't want to mess up the Yerman, okay? Um, I've got a seven inch. Oh, it's a little tight for me. Okay. It might need to go better on. Okay, it fits on this one. So probably a six and three quarter to a six and a half to six and three quarter would be best. Um, and let's say $4 for this one. It's in excellent condition, you guys. That is so cool. I like that one a lot. All right, next up, we have this gold tone pendant. It's kind of like a little hammered disc. And then you've got um, this little heart on top of it in a silver tone. And it looks like this is like a little enhancer that you can add to something. So we'll just say a dollar on that if anyone's interested. All right, next up, we've got this almost like little art glass pendant. It's really pretty blue with a green or like kind of aqua cross going through it. Uh, looks like somebody made this. It's got um, the pendant. I forgot the name of it. But anyways, it's got the attachment that's glued on it. So we'll just say a dollar on that one. This is very cold to the touch. Yay. It looks like maybe we've got another stone. Look how beautiful this is. The black with the little white kind of striations going through the corner. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Um, I forgot what I said for the other one. I don't remember. I don't know. $3. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, so we got another natural stone. Let's go for another compartment. All right. 
This one's kind of got a bunch of stuff on top. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Hello. It looks like we got maybe another little stone here. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this one. Oh, that's really pretty. You've got the grays and blacks mixed in. It is cool to the touch. Again, I have no idea what kind of stones these are. That's so cool. Somebody attached this to turn it into a pendant. So this one's a little bit smaller than those others. So let's just say $2 on it. Maybe if you didn't like this, you could take this off and attach something else to it. This one looks just like a corded necklace. You could add an enhancer to it um, or something like that. I don't see a maker on it. We'll just say a dollar. Okay, ooh, I love like black jewelry. So anything gunmetal I think is so cool. This one's really interesting. You've got the, um, let's see if I can get it going the right way here. OMG, come on, there we go. All right, so you've got the clasp here. This looks like it's in excellent condition. It is a double layer, long necklace, drops into these um, almost mirrored and textured balls. And then look at this. I'm not usually a huge fan of ribbon jewelry, but when it's in good shape, it can be really, really stunning, I think. So you've got um, kind of this little squished ribbon and then the bow, which y'all know I love bow jewelry. And then the pendant um, drops down into the ribbon and these black faceted ones. I wonder if something was supposed to hang here. Oh no. Y'all, I think this might be broken. Ah, oh, that's so sad. All right, let's see here what's going on. It looks like it's broken. Wait a minute, what happened? I feel like it didn't look like this when I pulled it out of the bag. Oh, y'all, I hope I didn't break it. Anyways, um, if anyone's interested in this one, hopefully you can do something with it. Um, we'll just say a dollar. Y'all, if I broke that, I'd be so embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I feel like it was in good condition. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, that's pretty. We've got a couple different, um, like a multi-layer necklace. Looks like you've got a dark brown cord, a lighter brown cord, and then this black seed bead one. The cords do have some wear to them. Somebody loved this. Look how cool this pendant is, gold tone. And then you've got these different faceted cabochons in it. Nice. I don't see any markings on this one. I am just gonna put this in craft for a dollar because of the wear to the cords. And there is some wear to the pendant as well. Next, we have a pair of earrings. Oh, these are fun. These are very lightweight, just like a little plastic. You've got the glitter hearts that fall down into a animal print dingle. There's the back. So if anyone's interested in these, we'll just say a dollar. Next, we have this one that I saw when we pulled out. Um, I don't see any markings on this, but this is an enhancer. So if anyone's interested in this, look, you've got the cross with the rhinestones and then these angel wings. That's so cool. Um, we'll say $2 on this one. Look at the, how that shot. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. Next, we have a little pendant. It's a sterling. It is marked. I think it does say, it says... It does say 925 right there. And then it looks like there's a little copyright symbol, but I don't know copyright for who. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it is like a little articulated right here, the bail. And look at that design work around the outside. And then you've got this inset red stone 
Don't know what that is, but it's so pretty. Um, we'll test that for sterling as well. Yay, possibly two pieces of sterling. It feels like sterling. Okay, we've got a gold tone. Oh dear, multi-layer, y'all. Tangles, aka tangles. Um, this one has the premier designs. Um crown. OMG. It looks like it's in really good condition, but it is tangled. And then um, you, it looks like you've got multiples of these little daggers that hang down in a gold tone. Um, I don't know. Let's, it's in good shape, but you would have to untangle it. So even though it's not craft, because I don't want to untangle it, I'm just going to say a dollar. So hopefully somebody can love that because it looks like it's in great shape. All right, let's move on to the next compartment. Oh, that looks familiar. Oh, looks like we've got another little beaded situation. Let's pull out another compartment too. So that wasn't a lot. There we go. Okay, we've got a gold tone chain. No, bracelet. Yeah, bracelet. Um, this is a gold tone bracelet. It's got three chains attached to it. And let's see, I'll give y'all a link. Um, maybe just a little bit too small for me. That's really pretty. Um, I don't see any sort of markings on here. And um, let's go ahead and measure that for y'all. I'm like, I can't even get my measuring tape. I have so many like baggies over here. <laughs> okay, let's measure. Um, it is coming just shy of a seven, but I'm a seven and it was too tight for me. So, um, maybe with the way that you have to clasp it, I don't know. Let's say it would be best for six and three quarters, just shy of seven, but that's nice. Assuming, yeah, that's just a gold tone. We'll just say $2 for that. It's in good shape. All right. We've got a silver tone one. Oh, and this one is marked Avon. My son is home from school. You might hear him in the background. He needs to study for finals. He has got two finals tomorrow. There's the Avon. Looks like it's in excellent condition. Really, really pretty little flower design there with the inset rhinestones and this little tassel. Um, maybe this is an inklet. Let me measure it for y'all. Let's do a total length here. It's obviously too small for a necklace, but it looks too big for a bracelet. So I'm going to guess this is some like an anklet. There is a little extender here. So yeah, this is about an eight and a quarter. Um, not including the clasp, about an eight and a half with the clasp. And then you have an extra inch extender. So yeah, I'm going to say an anklet. If anyone's interested in this one, let's say um, $2 for that. That's in really good condition. Next, we have, is this a stretch? Yeah, we have a faceted bead stretch. Look how pretty those beads are. Ooh, I love that. And then a little faux druzy. Um, And the stretch seems pretty good on this one. I don't see any sort of markings on it, but it looks like it's in good shape. So we'll just say $2 on that. And this looks familiar, right? We had the bracelet. What was that bracelet? Was that Premier Designs? Mm, I can't remember. Um, but I'm confused here. Oh, okay. So it looks like you can clip this. I know Premier Designs does a lot of like convertible jewelry. So it would make sense that it has that. Okay, so this is clearly the matching necklace. Really interesting. You've got the clasp here, and then um, it drops down into this design, and then you've got the chain. Let me give you a length, and then it comes with this pendant. Um, again, I think we put the other one in craft for wear, and this one also has wear. It is a 12-inch drop, and I will say a dollar on this one as well, and I'll just throw that in. 
it's a significant amount of wear on that. All right, next compartment, y'all. We're like almost done. Oh, these, these kind of look like those other clips that we had. Okay, let's pull those out and pull this out, pull these out, and then that will leave one long compartment at the end. Oh, these are sweet. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I hope we get the match to that. Does that say 95? It does. We got more sterling, y'all. Oh, I hope there's a match to this earring. Look how sweet that earring is. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side and hope we get that. Um, these post back earrings, even though they're really cute with these little roses, do have a little chip in them right there. So I'm going to put these in craft for a dollar. All right. And the, oh, I see the match to the earring. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Okay. I'm very excited about the earring, but this is really pretty. All right. I don't know. This is tangled. <laughs> I feel like this is a necklace of some sort, <laughs> but I'm not really sure how it goes. It is in good condition with this uh, gray cord. And then you've got the two kind of ball, not ball, <laughs> uh, bar <laughs> dangles. And then you've got the little beaded loop here. I'm assuming that these go through here and it's like a little bolo necklace, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're just going to say a dollar on that. Yay. <gasps> Y'all. Okay. What does this say? It says 925. And then there's another marking underneath it. Maybe MA or something like that. TMA, not sure. Or maybe it's THA, maybe for Thailand. Awesome. And look at these stones, y'all. You've got the red, green, black, blue, pink, and like the turquoise blue. These are so nice. Um, assuming not magnetic, I'm gonna like pray these are actually sterling. They feel like it. So we'll test those as well. So yay. So now three pieces of sterling, an empty bag. Okay, we've got a gold tone bracelet. Nice, kind of like a flat lay. Let's see. I don't see any sort of markings on this one. Magnetic. So if anyone's interested in this one, we it's textured. Um, we will just say $2 on this. It's in good shape. We've got another pair of clippies that we saw as we were pulling out in kind of an antiqued brass tone. And you've got a green, a red, and a blue, very jewel tone colors. There's the back. They say made in Taiwan. Very cool. And we'll just say a dollar on those. Next up. We've got a necklace here. Um, that's a cool little pendant. You've got the interlocked loops here. And then a, I don't know what kind of chain this is called. <laughs> like a twist chain. I don't know. Is that the, a type of chain? Um, I'm assuming this is magnetic. Yes. I'll give you guys a link. It's in great condition. And we're just going to say... Three dollars on this one. I don't see any sort of markings on it. It's a 16 inch. Great condition. Oh, and we've got the matching earrings. You know what? If you want the matching earrings with it, I'll just throw them in. Just make sure you send me a screenshot and the price. Yay. All right, last compartment. Okay, we'll pull the rest of this out. Oh, we have more of these little, like, it looks like a stretch. Oh, without missing something. I guess it's missing the druzy. Here we go. All right, let's start with this little bracelet. Oh, this is neat. It's got a little um, gold tone on the back and then, like, the faux tortoise shell on the front. We'll just say a dollar on that one. It's in good shape. This one, really pretty, some black faceted beads. They're held together by these little silver tone um, clasps. It's a barrel clasp. 
that's our first barrel in this set. And then you've got the um, cord has got all these little beads. That's cool. I like that. Let me measure it because it's a little short. Actually, let me give you all total length because it doesn't lay exactly. I love the shimmer on this faceted one that's in between. Okay, it's a 16 inch. So if anyone's interested in this one, we will do this one for $3. I love all the beads on there. Okay, let's see what else we have here besides a tangle. Well, let's take care of this one. This one's going to be in craft for a dollar. And get some maybe good beads off of that one. Okay. Got the gold one. Oh, that matches those sweet earrings that are in craft. This one's got a little smudge on it. I feel like this is like maybe something Avon would have done. Um, oh, ha, ha. Yeah, I, I guessed right, you guys. Um, looks like these are Avon. This set, this one I'm also going to put in craft for a dollar. You know, if you're interested, then we've got this multi layer necklace. Um, <laughs> I DK, I do not know. Okay, well. There's these little like branches that come down into what is supposed to, I think, be a druzy. Look at that. It looks like it's missing some pieces. Um, it's still a little tangled, not bad at all. I think they hang down, um, you know, like little arrows would point. But there are some of these little pieces that are missing, so we'll just say a dollar on that. Oh, um, cute. We have some little, like, Louis Vuitton. That is not a real piece from a Louis Vuitton, just FYI, <laughs> in case anybody was wondering. And then you've got the little um, animal print, like a little faux fur. Um, we'll just say a dollar on those. Got a stretch here. Stretch is pretty good. Um, those may be some stones. They're a little bit cooler. But um, we've got a stretch. We'll just say a dollar on that one. Another multi-layer necklace. Is this another um, JK by 31? Cool. I don't know what JK is unless it's like J King or something. I have no idea. Obviously some sort of collab with 31. Um, you've got the antique brass chain with these faceted clear beads. And then look at these are, this is a really cool necklace y'all. I like these. Um, if anyone's interested in this one, we will do this one for $3. It's in good shape. And it's this, um, that's a really, that's a really cute. Hallmark JK by 31. Nice. All right, then we've got this little dainty necklace. I'm assuming gold tone. And it's got, oh, we don't want to mess it up, Christina. Don't mess it up. Okay. We've got these dainty little knots on it. Oh, that's so sweet. It's magnetic, so just gold tone. I think this one is so sweet. Let's measure it real fast. And this has just about a seven inch drop, y'all. So it's about a 14 inch necklace. Um, and we'll just say $2 on this one. It's really, really pretty. I love those little knots. Okay, so that was everything. I feel like we got a lot of pieces and y'all we got some sterling. I'm so excited. So let's do some testing. Um, let me grab my stone, which is looking kind of rough. And let's just make sure that these pieces are sterling. And then I'll give you guys a price for them. Scratch looks good. Look, how, I love the stones that are in these and look how pretty this one is. I don't know like 
what that could be in there, but I think it's like really cool. Okay, there's a good scratch on that one. And then this one. Nice, everything looks good. Let's get the acid. And they all turned blue. So all three of these pieces are sterling, okay? So we have the pendant that's got the inset stones in them. Again, I'm not exactly sure which ones they are. I can only just guess, right? Here's the mark on the back. It did test positive for sterling. So if anyone's interested in this one, let's say, I don't know, 10 bucks. It's nice. It's tiny, but pretty. And then um, we'll do the same here. 10 bucks for this little pendant. I don't know what that is, but it's so pretty. That red stone, it is marked over here. Not sure, again, there is like a little copyright, but I don't really see, maybe there's like a little letter here, not sure. We'll just stick to the $10, little dainty sterling pendant with some sort of inset stone. And then y'all, these crosses are awesome. Um, you've got the red, black, pink, blue, like a turquoise. And then you've got another blue that's almost maybe like a sodalite or a lapis. And then a green. I love these as well. We'll just stick to 10. I want to give you guys really good prices. I got a good deal on this at the garage sale or yard sale, whatever you want to call it. And we don't have those in my community, y'all. Um, and my mom's neighborhood only does them twice a year. So uh, you can't just run out any weekend and go find a garage sale around here. It's not how it works. So anyways, it was a lot of fun for me to go and look for jewelry with her and some other things. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this haul. And like I said, if you're interested in purchasing anything, just send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com. Make sure to include the timestamp and a screenshot and the price of the item. I'll get you a PayPal invoice and get everything shipped out to you. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will be back on Thursday with a Thread Up DIY designer unboxing. Until then, bye y'all. Let's see what else we've got here. We'll start with we'll start with the stone. I I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it is cool to the touch. Look at that. This is beautiful. That blue that goes through there. Oh, I like this a lot. Um, so a pendant. Let's see. Um, the for sure the little ball part here is um, silver tone. Not sure about the wire. I'm not going to go through the trouble of testing that part. I absolutely love this. Let's just say three bucks for this. I don't. I love that. Okay, really nice. All right, we've got a gunmetal. It's got a pave drop. Um, we are tangled. Oh dear. It's, is it a multi <laughs> I feel like the ones that are always multi layered um, get so tangled. Okay, let's see what I can do here. If this takes too long, I may have to fast forward this part. I finally learned how to do that. Thank you, Brighton. Um, okay. Um, OMG. Y'all, there are so many connectors on here. I can't. Okay. Well, I didn't get it untangled, but there's so many connectors on here. I'm not even really sure what is going on. <laughs> you've got one connected here. You've got a connector here. You've got your spring ring here and another connector here. In a gunmetal that drops down, um, 
oh, is that Premier Designs? That little crown there, I think so. And um, you've got this little pavade one, and then you've got this one down here. So um, for this one that I think is super sweet because it's still tangled and I'm not gonna take the time to untangle it, I'm just gonna do the Premier Designs for a dollar. I hope one of y'all gets that, you can untangle it. Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, this, this looks like um, a spoon. Oh, I love this. This looks like a spoon bracelet. Um, I own some spoon jewelry. I have some, let's see if it's marked, it is. Um, my mom bought me some when I was a lot younger. This says silver plate. Look at that design on the inside. I love that, okay? Um, my mom bought me some, so I have a ring and I have a matching bracelet. And then I also got a ring from Marilyn over at Shady NY that is a spoon ring. So um, all of this is, I mean, this is silver plate, as it said. Usually spoon jewelry is not sterling, um, but the clasp is also silver tone. I don't know, you guys. I feel like maybe I need to keep this. I don't know, but then I shouldn't keep, I shouldn't be keeping things, you guys. Anyways, I love that. Um, if anyone's interested in this one, we'll just do $3 for that. That's really cool. I like the way how it's connected right there. All right, next up. This is really pretty. Got like <clears throat> an antiqued brass chain. Although, I mean, the top of this is like a gold tone. So that's kind of interesting. Um, anyways, antiqued brass chain dropping down into these little textured balls. And then you've got the faceted beads. This reminds me of like fall. I love this. And then you've got these green faceted beads and this larger like amber colored dangle. I think that's nice. I don't see any sort of maker on that. But look, you've got that three layers of that. So if anyone's interested in this one, we'll just do this one for $3. That's nice. Okay, let's move on to the next compartment. Ooh, ooh, I see something marked. Ooh, is that more stone? Oh, this is exciting. Ooh, art glass, maybe? I don't know. Yay. Y'all, let's start with this. OMG. Okay, I saw immediately this said 925 right here on the back. That is awesome. And then look at all of these little insets. Maybe some sort of onyx. That looks like it could be like a, a tiger's eye. Oh, this is nice. I love that. So we will test this at the end to make sure it's sterling. But yay, y'all, I think we got some sterling. That's exciting. So we've gotten some natural stone. We've had a couple pieces that have been marked. We've got an Avon, a Chico's and a Premier Designs, and now Sterling, yay. Okay, next we have a bracelet. It's got a really cool geometric pattern on it. I don't see, oh, here's a mark down here. Let's see, oh, and we've got Premier Designs. So we've got a Premier Designs bracelet. I would say this one um, does have some wear to it. So I'm gonna put this one in craft. And if anyone wants that, it'll be a dollar. That's nice. All right, on this one, we've got another mixed metal. We've got the gold cuff, gold tone cuff, and the silver tone little accent on the top. And, oh, this one says Trafari. Let's try and look close, closer at it, right there. Nice. Yay, that's exciting. I must, let me pull my bracelets down here. We don't wanna mess up the Yerman, okay? Um, I've got a seven inch. Oh, it's a little tight for me. Okay. It might need to go better on. Okay. It fits on this one. So probably a six and three quarter to a six and a half to six and three quarter would be best. Um, and let's say $4 for this one. It's an excellent condition. You guys, that is so cool. I like that one a lot. All right. Next up, we have this gold tone pendant kind of like a little hammered disc and then you've got um this little heart on top of it in a silver tone 
and it looks like this is like a little enhancer that you can add to something. So we'll just say a dollar on that if anyone's interested. All right, next up, we've got this almost like little art glass pendants, really pretty blue with a green or like kind of aqua cross going through it. Uh, looks like somebody made this. It's got um, the pendant. I forgot the name of it. But anyways, it's got the attachment that's glued on it. So we'll just say a dollar on that one. This is very cold to the touch. Yay. It looks like maybe we've got another stone. Look how beautiful this is. The black with the little white kind of striations going through the corner. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Um, I forgot what I said for the other one. I don't remember. I don't know. Three dollars. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we got another natural stone. Let's go for another compartment. All right. This one's kind of got a bunch of stuff on top. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Hello. It looks like we got maybe another little stone here. Ooh. This is cool. Look at this one. Oh, that's really pretty. You've got the grays and blacks mixed in. It is cold to the touch. Again, I have no idea what kind of stones these are. That's so cool. Somebody attached this to turn it into a pendant. So this one's a little bit smaller than those others. So let's just say $2 on it. Maybe if you didn't like this, you could take this off and attach something else to it. This one looks just like a corded necklace. You could add an enhancer to it um, or something like that. I don't see a maker on it. We'll just say a dollar. Okay. Ooh, I love like black jewelry. So anything gunmetal I think is so cool. This one's really interesting. You've got the... Um, See if I can get it going the right way here. OMG, come on, there we go. All right, so you've got the clasp here. This looks like it's in excellent condition. It is a double layer, long necklace, drops into these um, almost mirrored and textured balls. And then look at this. I'm not usually a huge fan of ribbon jewelry, but when it's in good shape, it can be really, really stunning, I think. So you've got um, kind of this little squished ribbon and then the bow, which y'all know I love bow jewelry. And then the pendant um, drops down into the ribbon and these black faceted ones. I wonder if something was supposed to hang here. Oh no, y'all, I think this might be broken. Ah, oh, that's so sad. All right, let's see here what's going on. It looks like it's broken. Wait a minute, what happened? I feel like it didn't look like this when I pulled it out of the bag. Oh, y'all, I hope I didn't break it. Anyways, um, if anyone's interested in this one, hopefully you can do something with it. Um, we'll just say a dollar. Y'all, if I broke that, I'd be so embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I feel like it was in good condition. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, that's pretty. We've got a couple different, um, like a multi-layer necklace. Looks like you've got a dark brown cord, a lighter brown cord, and then this black seed bead one. The cords do have some wear to them. Somebody loved this. Look how cool this pendant is. Gold tone. And then you've got these different faceted cabochons in it. Nice. I don't see any markings on this one. I am just going to put this in craft for a dollar because of the wear to the cords. And there is some wear to the pendant as well. Next, we have a pair of earrings. Oh, these are fun. These are very lightweight, just like a little plastic. You've got the glitter hearts that fall down into a animal print dingle. There's the back. So if anyone's interested in these, we'll just say a dollar. 
Next, we have this one that I saw when we pulled out. Um, I don't see any markings on this, but this is an enhancer. So if anyone's interested in this, look, you've got the cross with the rhinestones and then these angel wings. That's so cool. Um, we'll say $2 on this one. Look at how that shot. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. Next, we have a little pendant. It's a sterling. It is marked. I think it does say, it says... It does say 925 right there. And then it looks like there's a little copyright symbol. But I don't know copyright for who. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it is like a little articulated right here, the bail. And look at that design work around the outside. And then you've got this inset red stone. Don't know what that is, but it's so pretty. Um, we'll test that for sterling as well. Yay! Possibly two pieces of sterling. It feels like sterling. Okay. We've got a gold tone. Oh, dear. Multi-layer, y'all. Tangles, a.k.a. Tangles. Um, this one has the Premier Designs um, crown. OMG. It looks like it's in really good condition, but it is tangled. And then um, you, it looks like you've got multiples of these little daggers that hang down in a gold tone. Um, I don't know. Let's, it's in good shape, but you would have to untangle it. So even though it's not craft, because I don't want to untangle it, I'm just going to say a dollar. So hopefully somebody can love that because it looks like it's in great shape. All right, let's move on to the next compartment. Oh, that looks familiar. Oh, looks like we've got another little beaded situation. Let's pull out another compartment too. So that wasn't a lot. There we go. Okay, we've got a gold tone chain. No, bracelet. Yeah, bracelet. Um, this is a gold tone bracelet. It's got three chains attached to it. And let's see, I'll give you all length. Um, maybe just a little bit too small for me. That's really pretty. Um, I don't see any sort of markings on here. And um, let's go ahead and measure that for y'all. I'm like, I can't even get my measuring tape. I have so many like baggies over here. <laughs> okay, let's measure. Um, it is coming just shy of a seven, but I'm a seven and it was too tight for me. So, um, maybe with the way that you have to clasp it, I don't know. Let's say it would be best for six and three quarters, just shy of seven, but that's nice. Assuming, yeah, that's just a gold tone. We'll just say $2 for that. It's in good shape. All right. We've got a silver tone one. Oh, and this one is marked Avon. My son is home from school. You might hear him in the background. He needs to study for finals. He has got two finals tomorrow. There's the Avon. Looks like it's in excellent condition. Really, really pretty little flower design there with the inset rhinestones and this little tassel. Um, maybe this is an inklet. Let me measure it for y'all. Let's do a total length here. It's obviously too small for a necklace, but it looks too big for a bracelet. So I'm going to guess this is some like an anklet. There is a little extender here. So yeah, this is about an eight and a quarter. Um, not including the clasp, about an eight and a half with the clasp. And then you have an extra inch extender. So yeah, I'm gonna say an inklet. If anyone's interested in this one, let's say um, $2 for that. That's in really good condition. Next, we have, is this a stretch? Yeah, we have a faceted bead stretch. Look how pretty those beads are. Ooh, I love that. And then a little faux druzy. Um, and 
The stretch seems pretty good on this one. I don't see any sort of markings on it, but it looks like it's in good shape. So we'll just say $2 on that. And this looks familiar, right? We had the bracelet. What was that bracelet? Was that Premier Designs? Mm, I can't remember. Um, but I'm confused here. Oh, okay. So it looks like you can clip this. I know Premier Designs does a lot of like convertible jewelry, so it would make sense that it has that. Okay, so this is clearly the matching necklace. Really interesting. You've got the clasp here, and then um, it drops down into this design, and then you've got the chain. Let me give you a length, and then it comes with this pendant. Um, again, I think we put the other one in craft for wear, and this one also has wear. It is a 12 inch drop and I will say a dollar on this one as well. And I'll just throw that in. It's a significant amount of wear on that. All right, next compartment y'all. We're like almost done. Oh, these, these kind of look like those other clips that we had. Okay, let's pull those out and pull this out, pull these out. And then that will leave one long compartment at the end. Oh, these are sweet. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I hope we get the match to that. Does that say 95? It does. We got more sterling, y'all. Oh, I hope there's a match to this earring. Look how sweet that earring is. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side and hope we get that. Um, these post back earrings, even though they're really cute with these little roses, do have a little chip in them right there. So I'm going to put these in craft for a dollar. All right, and the, oh, I see the match to the earring. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, um, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, I'm very excited about the earring, but this is really pretty. All right, I don't know. This is tangled. <laughs> I feel like this is a necklace of some sort, <laughs> but I'm not really sure how it goes. It is in good condition with this uh, gray cord, and then you've got the two kind of ball, not ball, <laughs> uh bar <laughs> dangles and then you've got the little beaded loop here I'm assuming that these go through here and it's like a little bolo necklace but I'm not 100% sure so we're just gonna say a dollar on that yay <gasps> y'all okay what does this say it says 925 and then there's another marking underneath it Maybe M-A or something like that. T-M-A? Not sure. Or maybe it's T-H-A. Maybe for Thailand. Awesome. And look at these stones, y'all. You've got the red, green, black, blue, pink, and like the turquoise blue. These are so nice. Um, assuming not magnetic, I'm going to like pray these are actually sterling. They feel like it. So we'll test those as well. So yay, so now three pieces of sterling, an empty bag. Okay, we've got a gold tone bracelet. Nice, kind of like a flat lay. Let's see. I don't see any sort of markings on this one. Magnetic. So if anyone's interested in this one, we it's textured. Um, we will just say $2 on this. It's in good shape. We've got another pair of clippies that we saw as we were pulling out in kind of an antiqued brass tone. And you've got a green, a red, and a blue, very jewel tone colors. There's the back. They say made in Taiwan. Very cool. And we'll just say a dollar on those. Next up. We've got a necklace here. Um, that's a cool little pendant. You've got the interlocked loops here. And then a, I don't know what kind of chain this is called. <laughs> like a twist chain. I don't know. Is that the, a type of chain? Um, I'm assuming this is magnetic. Yes. I'll give you guys a link. It's in great condition. And we're just going to say... $3 on this one. 
I don't see any sort of markings on it. It's a 16 inch. Great condition. Oh, and we've got the matching earrings. You know what? If you want the matching earrings with it, I'll just throw them in. Just make sure you send me a screenshot in the price. Yay. All right, last compartment. Okay, we'll pull the rest of this out. Oh, we have more of these little, like, it looks like a stretch. Oh, is that missing something? I guess it's missing the druzy. There we go. All right, let's start with this little bracelet. Oh, this is neat. It's got a little um, gold tone on the back and then, like, the faux tortoise shell on the front. We'll just say a dollar on that one. It's in good shape. This one, really pretty, some black faceted beads. They're held together by these little silver tone um, clasps. It's a barrel clasp. That's our first barrel in this set. And then you've got the um, cord. It's got all these little beads. That's cool. I like that. Let me measure it because it's a little short. Actually, let me give you all total length because it doesn't lay exactly. I love the shimmer on this faceted one that's in between. Okay, it's a 16 inch. So if anyone's interested in this one, we will do this one for $3. I love all the beads on there. Okay, let's see what else we have here besides a tangle. Well, let's take care of this one. This one's going to be in craft for a dollar. And get some maybe good beads off of that one. Okay. Got the gold one. Oh, that matches those sweet earrings that are in craft. This one's got a little smudge on it. I feel like this is like maybe something Avon would have done. Um, oh, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I, I guessed right, you guys. Um, it looks like these are Avon. This set, this one I'm also going to put in craft for a dollar. You know, if you're interested, then we've got this multi layer necklace. Um, <laughs> I DK, I do not know. Okay, well, there's these little like branches that come down into what is supposed to, I think, be a druzy. That it looks like it's missing some pieces. Um, it's still a little tangled, not bad at all. I think they hang down, um, you know, like little arrows would point. But there are some of these little pieces that are missing, so we'll just say a dollar on that. Okay. Oh, um, cute. We have some little, like, Louis Vuitton. That is not a real piece from a Louis Vuitton, just FYI, <laughs> in case anybody was wondering. And then you've got the little um, animal print, like a little faux fur. Um, we'll just say a dollar on those. Got a stretch here. Stretch is pretty good. Um, those may be some stones. A little bit cooler, but um, we've got a stretch. We'll just say a dollar on that one. Another multi layer necklace. Is this another um, JK by 31? Cool. I don't know what JK is unless it's like J King or something. I have no idea. Obviously, some sort of collab with 31. Um, you've got the antique brass chain with these faceted clear beads. And then look at these are, this is a really cool necklace, y'all. I like these. Um, if anyone's interested in this one, we will do this one for $3. It's in good shape. And it's this, um, that's a really, that's a really cute little hallmark. JK by 31. Nice. All right, then we've got this little dainty necklace. I'm assuming gold tone. And it's got, oh, 
We don't want to mess it up, Christina. Don't mess it up. Okay. We've got these dainty little knots on it. Oh, that's so sweet. It's magnetic, so just gold tone. I think this one is so sweet. Let's measure it real fast. And this has just about a seven inch drop, y'all. So it's about a 14 inch necklace. Um, and we'll just say $2 on this one. It's really, really pretty. I love those little knots. Okay, so that was everything. I feel like we got a lot of pieces and y'all, we got some sterling. I'm so excited. So let's do some testing. Um, let me grab my stone which is looking kind of rough. And let's just make sure that these pieces are sterling. And then I'll give you guys a price for them. Scratch looks good. Look, how, I love the stones that are in these and look how pretty this one is. I don't know like what that could be in there, but I think it's like really cool. Okay, there's a good scratch on that one. And then this one. Nice, everything looks good. Let's get the acid. And they all turned blue. So all three of these pieces are sterling, okay? So we have the pendant that's got the inset stones in them. Again, I'm not exactly sure which ones they are. I can only just guess, right? Here's the mark on the back. It did test positive for sterling. So if anyone's interested in this one, let's say, I don't know, 10 bucks. It's nice. It's tiny, but pretty. And then um, we'll do the same here. 10 bucks for this little pendant. I don't know what that is, but it's so pretty that red stone. It is marked over here. Not sure, again, there is like a little copyright, but I don't really see, maybe there's like a little letter here, not sure. We'll just stick to the $10, little dainty sterling pendant with some sort of inset stone. And then y'all, these crosses are awesome. Um, you've got the red, black, pink, blue, like a turquoise. And then you've got another blue that's almost maybe like a sodalite or a lapis, and then a green. I love these as well. We'll just stick to 10. I wanna give you guys really good prices. I got a good deal on this at the garage sale or yard sale, whatever you wanna call it. And we don't have those in my community, y'all. Um, and my mom's neighborhood only does them twice a year. So uh, you can't just run out any weekend and go find a garage sale around here. It's not how it works. So anyways, it was a lot of fun for me to go and look for jewelry with her and some other things. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this haul. And like I said, if you're interested in purchasing anything, just send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com. Make sure to include the timestamp and a screenshot and the price of the item. I'll get you a PayPal invoice and get everything shipped out to you. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will be back on Thursday with a thread up DIY designer unboxing. Until then, bye y'all.